I am going to suck him off. I eat cock. One hundred percent right. Mike Morse. That's what I'm saying, Pop. Oh, hey, my dick's enormous. I love chili balls. Ah, oh, fuck anyone. By the stench of me. That's what I'm saying, Bob. Thou protest by too much. Thank you. Membership machine. Super chat machine. Completely unparticipated. Un- what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's puddle chicken. Bruce. 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 Perry. Hello. 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 I've been, I've had a, I've had a, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been, I've been, I've been. The Shuley Network. Oh, Taylor Swift. Mike Moore, shut your fucking mouth. (laughs) 
boy, it looks like I got to move on to the new day, huh? into Your coffin, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you missed it. You wanted us back. We are back yeah. live in the morning. It's the BS show, the one you know. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hit like, hit subscribe, get to know us. We'll get to know you. We're going to be all over the place. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But before we go any further, let me introduce everybody to you. Down below right there, the man, the myth, the legend, the maestro, Mr. Mike Morse. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. uh, Mike Maestro. Mike Maestro. Uh, And next to him. Mike Maestro. Mike (laughs) Maestro. I like it. I like it. It's in the mix. Uh, And ladies and gentlemen, next to him, um, you know, the the brightest star in the Dabbleverse these days, the one, the only, you know him. He's delivering laps and food. It's Anthony Zenhauser. The come. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Hall. I must forget about that. You can't let me have anything. 
Hey, listen, it's not his words. It's your words. Uh, yeah. you know. Oh, coming! <laughs> oh, no, wait, that's not even it. That's just you coming. Straight <laughs> you know. I get, I have so many Zen cum pig drops, I can't even sift through them fast enough. Yeah, literal or figurative? <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered in Zen cum pig. Says Zen, does that mean Z, like he puts you to sleep, or Zen, like you're excited? Oh, Jesus so you can't tell in typing. That's how people get into arguments. You know what? No, uh, I, I joined the nation of uh, <laughs> oh. with someone. Oh, uh, the nation eight? of domination, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cum we hip up and sign up for the nation of Islam. That'd be awesome. Oh, that's great. I don't even want to eat these fucking bean pies. They're gross. <laughs> I'm just uh, screaming about it. This is a, uh, a, a, I'm not calling it a tennis elbow because that's not, this is a, this was, a injury that was received from the running of the dogs. You know, it's not safe out there. Bob, you look like a, you look like a wrestler who wrestled forty years ago and is doing the indie circuit right now. And he's he's dressed up for the match. He's got one thing on his arm. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you seven people, I will beat you all. <laughs> That's what I, when I used to wrestle. I used to come out like it was like you know there was about what forty fifty people, and you know they were you know they were hillbillies. They they were like they were into this shit. And I go, I used to go, uh, what day is trash day here? And they'd go Wednesday. And I go, good, because I've never seen this much white trash in my life. <laughs> yeah. And the day was just uh, like, I would come up with stuff like that and just yeah. to piss them off. Uh, but it was uh, fun. I definitely want to do another match. I think now that, uh, like, when the spring has sprung, uh, like, it's amazing. I'm awake. You, you, you get it? Like, it's like, <laughs> it changes your mind. It changes. Look at me. I'm tan already. It, it's amazing seasonal bob it's well, the one we know is. and love you know, yeah winter is tough i might have to get uh maybe you go into hibernation a... like a bear or or get a place out in, in like florida so well, that's what i was in rochester uh i was what? gonna do the opposite of uh <laughs> of call i was gonna get a winter home in rochester <laughs> <laughs> a summer a summer place or a winter place yeah winter yeah place. no you're right yeah you open up an uh, ice cream shop yeah, no. <laughs> House, what is he in the witness? The he's in the witness protection program. Bob moved to Rochester and opened up an ice cream shop. You go, who's hunting him? What's going on? Yeah, I'm. I'm from Norway. And <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Ice creams. <laughs> uh, good talk, cocksucker. What's happening? Uh, thank God, Ian says. Thank God, this is back to the morning. Okay, well, you see, we we had to know. You you have to miss us too. You know, uh, how you know. can you miss us if we don't go away, right, well, Bobby? Exactly. And Torito, fuck off, you ham head looking motherfucker. <laughs> Bob, shut the fuck up, please. You get Detroit destroy, destroyed by anyone. You roll, but let me. Uh, I I'll do a fucking ten minute match. Okay, motherfucker. And Ugh. it's fake. It's we know what's gonna happen to get rolled over. You you've never seen me do the fucking dancing hip toss. So what fuck was your fit? What was your finishing move? What DDT, was your finisher? It was a DDT. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it used to be. That's when Did it you, was uh, something hey, that you close with. When you had right when it was a finisher. Now everybody's doing it. You're right, mm -hmm. but. When you had him in, when you had his head under your arm, did you do anything to the crowd? Did you do like Jake the Snake? Did you give it the the? Spook? No, I didn't. I didn't do that. I just, uh, I just tapped him on the back to let him know this is when you go as soon as you feel <laughs> right, it. And, right. Uh, uh, yeah, the no, reverse see, is good. You see people take that the wrong way, right? Like no. they they don't uh, they don't tuck their head or tuck their chin or something, right? No, well, the whole is. thing is is that when I was training with Offer and them. In Allentown, Afa and Sika, the Samoans. I was Afa, but it was Afa wow. Thing and he had a training thing. I was, I forgot I was there. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, the one guy said, "Just, uh, just let yourself go limp, right, and and just go with it, right." And it stopped I stroking my cock. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I landed right on my <laughs> fucking head, and I'm mm -hmm. like, "Fuck this!" You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, it's brutal. It, it, it is you know what i mean you just have to uh you have to know how to do this shit and uh that's what you, that's what you learned before you know you even wrestle somebody you're kicking your own ass well not only that but they take it so personal when you when you 
approach their job as a joke oh, or yeah. like don't take it seriously then then they have to prove to you that this hurts <laughs> and it's gonna hurt and, well that's what it is i had to yeah. teach a few lessons out there but that's what i did you know what i mean you're not gonna come into my business and tell me what i'm doing is fake okay we should do that one day we should because there's a bunch of videos of like indie shows where like old wrestlers are out there and they just whoever they're working with they don't like and they start beating the <laughs> shit out of them for real in I the ring. A few of those, yeah and i mean imagine you paid three dollars you're at a high school gym you're watching you know some guy who hasn't wrestled in 30 years and he starts punting the guy in the face as hard as he can and you're yeah. just like wow this is a really good yeah. show it's like I, uh i remember so, my second match it was uh the heartbreak of Bobby Slayer on the sign, <laughs> and it said, and free pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you went above free pretzels. Well, that's what it is. They knew what they were going to yeah. do. You know what I mean? And what I would do is I would get a pretzel from one of the people. And yeah. I would take the salt off it and put it in my hand. And then, oh, oh the you do a little Mr. Fuji. Oh, yeah. you rake the eyes. I would oh, rake I like the that. eyes with it. Oh, I use a pretzel too. If I you like that. that. If you believe B that, folks. BS in the morning where it belongs, says Hamhead. Thank look, you, The Hamhead. ham looks a lot better now. Like, I, I can see better now that the spring has sprung. <laughs> spring has sprung. He can see ham better now, guys. Uh, <laughs> Is it spring uh, I can see clearly now the ham has sprung. It's spring, spring here, has... man. The trees got leaves on them again. Oh, the yeah. weather's beautiful. It's, it's uh, amazing. It's just... Uh, it's, love it. it it's darling as some say speaking of darling mr dave d over here gifted one and got nothing two i'll suck your dick three oh hey froggy or four i don't like you i like your stutter and five i there we go. need a big dick and this is why I tell you guys, turn on Accept Gifted Memberships. The link is in the description. People like Dave and Hamhead and Magellan, they're all throwing shit out, man. So why are you sitting there like an idiot not getting any of these freebies? Because we're, we're behind the wall motherfuckers these days. Mm -hmm. So you better join up. Some of the best shit you're going to see is right there behind the wall for all you mm -hmm. motherfuckers supporting. Thank you. Good morning, fellas. Good morning, Hamhead. Okay, Pleasure. Hell. But, what? <laughs> now that oh my god <laughs> if he were to do the sam elliott yeah. i mean you would never would know never mm -hmm. you gotta think oh man or venetian blinds and we put uh those in he can just lower and then he can do the source is. <laughs> he can do behind the mustache shows yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> he hey i'm behind my mustache it's the whole show just him yelling we can make, hey. uh, four of them and make like a quartet like a <laughs> <laughs> like a barber <laughs> shop <laughs> the andy reed show uh <laughs> <laughs> put the picture it back is, up the it andy is a very show. Andy Reid type mustache. Remember when he played in the snow and it just gets filled with icicles and snot? <laughs> Put that picture back up, but Brennan, what's wrong with you? <laughs> if you put a you put a Chiefs hat on his head, you he wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of sports, you guys see? I mean, it's all over uh, the internet, but UFC had a big UFC three hundred this weekend in Vegas. They had this fight between Max Holloway, who is one of the toughest motherfuckers around, and Justin Gaethje, and th that's another tough motherfucker. And they fought for five rounds in the last 10 seconds of the fight. I don't know if you saw this. Holloway comes out. They both come out, and Holloway points to the center of the ring, and he's like, we're standing right here, and we're yeah. fucking throwing bombs. There's 10 seconds left, and they're throwing haymakers. They're trying to kill each other. And with one second left, Holloway fucking knocks him out wow. face first. Wow. Place went ape shit. It was one of the craziest. It's like a walk off, you know, home run in baseball. With one mm. second left, he fucking he flipped this guy's switch. It was amazing. Damn. It was amazing. I'd but, like to watch the best of each. You know, I, I can't sit through all of it because some yeah. of it's a little lame. But like, if somebody can clip like the best of, I don't know if that's out there. We They're all over YouTube. There's there's highlight, you know, best knockouts of all time. But I mean, you remember the very first UFC when yeah. it first came out? Oh yeah, dude, I remember seeing that like on pay per view for the first time, 
watching it. I'll never forget that match where the guy mounted the other dude and he just starts dropping elbows in this wait dude's minute. face. That, that wasn't UFC. <laughs> that wasn't oh, wait a minute. That's right. I did come really hard watching it now that I remember. But he elbowed the dude in the face so many times that the dude just <laughs> arms were just like this. And he was just. And I mean, that it was, was. That was UFAG. Dude, it was it was it was gladiator shit. Like there were no rules, no weight classes. Referees didn't know when to stop shit. Like it was fucking barbaric. You, you great. know what? You know you knew fuck somebody up when you hit them and they go down and their arms start going like this in the air. Oh, <laughs> you know, for man. no reason. You're like, wow, that motherfucker yeah. might be dying. Mighty horse. UFC one was human cockfighting. It was glory. It really was. It really was. It was yeah, fucking wasn't brutal. It in Japan? No, no, they, they, they could own, well, they had pride of fighting, which was another MMA and they went even a step further in pride. Gay pride. We were, they went. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're ready to fight. It you was know, all like, ground. We're here. A lot of scratching. A lot of scratching. <laughs> uh, they had She's a thing. the purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God, he maced him. He's maced him. He's dead. He got him with hairspray. <laughs> Is that Aquanet? Um, yeah, the the they had a rule where the fighter is down on the ground and the other fighter is standing up. He could just hold their head and kick him in the head. He could punt. You could kick a downed opponent, but no elbows. They were like, elbows are a little much. But you could punt this dude's head off his shoulders if you want. That's I seen allowed. one clip this morning where the guy's head was low, and the guy just threw a low kick into his chin. Yep. And yeah, it, was the, like, it was like his head was very low, and he, he just hit him good. It's crazy to see how we, it evolved, right? Because you had this guy, Hoist Gracie, who just laid down, and everybody's like, this isn't fighting. Meanwhile, he killed everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody could beat him. Then people are like, okay, we got we to gotta learn this fucking jujitsu shit, right? They start adapting to that. And you fast forward like 15 years later, 20 years later, dudes are running like the Matrix. They're running up the side of the cage, jumping off and kicking somebody <laughs> in the face. Wow. You're like, the fucking evolution of this shit is amazing. Now... Every fighter knows how to do everything, you yeah. know, wrestle, jujitsu, strike. That's what uh, I'm going to do. Right. I might get into that, too. The 60 and over, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see you be okay with another dude laying on top of you. To I actually, I, I, I beat a woman. I did beat a woman kickboxer. <laughs> Several, in, probably. In South Carolina, in the ring. <laughs> I did. Several. <laughs> I got moment. it with a few good kicks and... uh <laughs> Why are you bragging day. about beating a woman? Because oh. she's a fucking professional, and I wasn't, okay? She's a professional woman. <laughs> no, she, she was. She, she came in with a fucking iron. <laughs> <laughs> she was, when, where did this happen? What was this for? It was a, a UFC in South Carolina. Oh, so this was a long time ago. Not UFC, not UFC. You know, kickboxing, whatever. It was okay, some, right. Some local. Whatever. It was at a KFC in North yeah. Carolina. <laughs> yeah. She fucked up my order. I beat the shit out of her. Yeah. <laughs> it was at a KFC. I thought I, I said extra crispy. <laughs> I really thought she was gonna fucking beat me. I was getting nervous before, and I'm like, can't get nerves, can't because then you can't breathe, then you're gonna panic, and that's yeah. when you lose. And yeah. Uh, just fucking clock that bitch in the fucking head. Dude, there's female <laughs> fighters today that would fucking destroy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Destroy exactly. Dudes, That's man. why, you know, I was hoping I get knocked out and come. <laughs> right? <laughs> what does that run you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hamhead gifted one. Thank you, Woo! my brother. Appreciate it. Magellan, you guys ever consider doing BS in the afternoon? Oh, would shut be cool. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Just Everybody. kidding. Welcome back to mornings. Thank you, Magellan. Appreciate it. And Magellan throwing out some love. Come on. Come on. Mike G, thanks for coming. Mike G, thanks yeah. for coming back to the mornings. Thank you for uh, coming back and joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, Frog, don't feature this comment, please. <laughs> God damn it. I love him. And I fucking, he runs around with those titties out with a fucking tank top on and fucking, you know. He, he, I told him, you take down one strap, you'll make a lot of money on you. <laughs> yeah. Nice uh, BS in the morning and surely doing <laughs> 1970s Cylon voice for the opener. <laughs> My after work chill is complete. 
Thank you, nice. Uh, good to see you, pal. Another proud veteran. But don't you Navy. Feel great? But don't yeah. you feel great in this? Like, doesn't it just feel? You know what I mean? When the weather is starting to turn, it's just it's amazing. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. So funny. I was I was enjoying uh, the weather yesterday, and then my wife uh, shoots me a text that uh, the headlight went out, and she swung by a garage. And the guy said, it's no problem. As opposed to you swinging into a garage. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Garage. Which is, both can be true. <laughs> and um, and the guy said, uh, yeah, he goes, it's no problem. I just got to get the, the headlight. And then with labor and everything, he goes, we're looking at probably 850, 800. And you she texts me. She goes, is that good? I go, no, on no. another planet, that's good. Yeah. There, there's no... is." I mean, is he putting a human in there to hold the light for the rest for the rest of the time that it's right? Like, what is that price? That price? Look, I I would have paid two hundred for it, but that's me because I'm an idiot too, right? You know what right. I mean? Like, like they like they see women and me, but look, I paid what fifteen hundred for an oil change and a and, and a and a start, <laughs> not a start, not an alternator, alternator. right? Right. But, but I did it for a reason. Go Instead ahead. of bringing it to my I guy, he goes. Money. It would be over a thousand. It would be over a thousand, he said. So me to go pick up the car, bring it to my guy, and it could have been over a thousand or up. It could have been, you know, the same thing. But when I want to get a new car, I go to them. So I'm making a friendship. Understood. It's something so you'll screw me less later down the road. You would hope so. <laughs> it's you not know, a guarantee. Like, oh, when you go in to get a car, they're like, oh, you want some coffee? There's donuts back there. You buy that fucking car, they don't even recognize you when you walk in. You know, they fucking call you all their best friends, pieces of shit. Yeah, I, I uh, sell cars. Like, what is the biggest, like, who got you the best, like, ripoff wise? What'd you get ripped off the most from? A dealership, a dealership, a dealership. They they don't go by. Okay, they did the same thing here. I needed a timing change or whatever. Timing belt. What, yeah, whatever the fuck it is, the whole thing. And uh, they said it's due for it. When we <laughs> do bought, you think wait a minute? Car, they, go ahead. I was gonna say, do you think a timing belt is just a belt with watches around it, or do you well, know that's what? That's why it's I didn't for. want it. I didn't want anything to do with time anymore because these people get fucking pissed. I give them the wrong time. The I'm not changing change, the whatever clocks it the is. Car. It doesn't fucking matter what it is. A fucking Janet right up my ass, right up, right in the fucking morning. She got to stick a fucking goddamn fucking wooden fucking spoon in my ass. I'm liking um, BS more than re hey. Shut the fuck up over there, Br. Thank you. I like it too. I I do. That's a fact. Hold uh, on. What was I this saying? guy says? This guy says, surely give up your man card, a headlight. It's a headlight. It's 20 bucks. I didn't pay for it, and I didn't even yeah. know it was out. I the only reason the they gave phone. her that price is because she's a woman a woman pulling into a garage by herself. That's like that's like a scratch off ticket. Was, to was it guys. a mechanic or just somebody's garage that was open <laughs> on the this block? Guy, this guy Vince lives down the street. We don't even really know him. <laughs> so I was, was like, open. honey, just don't drive at night. <laughs> yeah, I really I went super jubo and I go, what the sun's yeah. out? What's yeah. what do we need to change it for? Glad Bob is in a good mood. Yeah, I am Bo Bur Bourbon <laughs> Bourbon and yeah, Bo Bourbon. Yeah, look, I mean it's the weather. You know, there he is. <laughs> telling me he's not fucking Bo, what what are you doing here? Bob, John's gonna get mad at you for no, hanging he out can, and having look, fun with us in the he chat. Can come here. He can go there. He's Everyone welcome can, here. I'm just play. saying his oh. buddy. His buddy can't handle it. We're fine. You can go back and forth. There's no, yeah. there's no issue here. Yeah, uh, Bo. it's like Bo Jackson. Remember, what was his mm. saying? Be like Bo. What was it? it was stupid. Bo what was knows. Bo, Bo knows. Bo knows. Bo knows. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. Uh, truth is, Shuli took the car in and just wanted us to tell him if it was a good price. Yeah. <laughs> no, believe me. Well, you have Listen. to ask. I would ask these motherfuckers about everything because, you know, there's what I mean? an expert. Somebody knows whatever something. it is, right. Whatever it is, there's an expert out there yeah. that has info on it. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, what's the best candles to buy? Because, you know, I'm in the candle thing now. You got to get Yankee candles, right? Uh, no, I, I go to the weed place and get them. I and I they're, oh. they're ten bucks each, and yeah, uh, they're, they're bigger than this. This is just a uh, one that was around. This so is a tobacco smell like weed? and vanilla bean. No, and no, it smells. It, it's the <laughs> cover weed. It's the cover weed. So it's got a nice little. Oh, uh, fifteen. Yo, 
Speaking of weed and the smell, I saw this video on Twitter. This guy claims this, you'll never get charged for smoking weed in hotel rooms again. This is his trick. You ready? Checks into the room. First oh, thing cigarettes. he does. Or Okay, watch. This could work for cigarettes. In theory, this is the guy's theory. I haven't tested it. Oh, but I here, know what you're going to say. Uh, you want to take a guess? Yeah. And shit on he the goes rug. There and he says, I smell cigarettes in a room, but it's fine. It's, ex it's exactly what he did. He calls the front desk. He goes, hi, just checked in the room. Uh, just want to you know, let you know. 3 312. And just want to let you know, it really smells like pot up Dox! here. And he goes, he goes, uh, I don't, we don't mind it. We're just letting you know. So we don't want to get charged for it. And he's, and they're like, yeah, no problem. He goes, okay, thank you. And that's good for one night. I think so. I so think you can't yeah. because they're going to come in and spray it the <laughs> next day. And then, you know, three nights later, you're like, it just won't leave. Yeah. yeah. Now it and smells they left weed here too. <laughs> and pipes. Now it smells like crack in here. What's going on? I just want to let you know there's a dead hooker under my, it doesn't bother <laughs> us right now, but you know, I'm just letting you know. As long as you call the front desk and let them know it doesn't bother you, they can't charge you for it. That's yeah, good. That's what I do. I was going to say, like, yeah, I call them up and I go, hey, it looks like somebody took a big dump in here and clogged the toilet. Uh, <laughs> you might not. I they go, sir, you, you we watched you check in. We know what you look like. <laughs> nice try. You got two bags of Burger King, you fucking lion. Right? <laughs> I love when you check in you know, and you go, oh, dang, if you need anything, you go upstairs, the phone rings, and it's a per person from downstairs <laughs> going, is everything I mean, I, What the fuck? I just got in. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. <clears throat> just letting you know the walls are covered in blood we're okay with it we don't uh, really need to leave yeah. uh white knight cutlass been a mechanic for 35 years was the head mechanic for a dealership for almost 10 years and now i'm semi semi-retired and run small jobs out of my own garage so come yeah. to ohio i'll take care of you there you go bum man don't yeah i mean it. i remember my pops working on cars all the time loved it Loved it. And people then, do that. Now it's like you don't see that as much now. Now you see people, they're cutting their lawn even if it doesn't need it. You know, they're just doing, like, fucking, what the fuck are you doing? Just stop it. Fucking lunatics. But back to the hotels, I, what I don't like about it, like I remember when I was doing Kid Chris show, uh, I, I go, I said, I'm going to this town, right? Yeah. And what does he do? He calls what? up every fucking hotel, finds out the one I am. Then I call in and he starts giving out the, he gives out the number. <laughs> there was fucking, they were getting like 400 calls every <laughs> like five minutes <laughs> and fucking like they, they go, we're going to have to throw you out because of that, because it's just ridiculous. We can't do this. Yeah. So don't never, never even just go by a different fucking name when you yeah. go to a hotel. For real, for real, do uh do the do the Artie move where you check in as Thurman Munson every hotel. <laughs> uh, gifted one, nice. Oh, thank you, pal. Hey, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gwen, gifted you one, thank dumb you. Fuck. Hmm. What's up, Gwen? Erica and gifted one. What? Thank you, Erica. And turn on accept gifted memberships, folks. The link is in the description. Yes. Help yourself out. I mean, these do people so. are. They don't have to do this. They're doing this for you. For don't you. be a dick about it. Yeah. When does Ha Ha Herpes come out, Mike? Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's out. Out now. Available yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, you wrote the yeah, forward. Been, <laughs> and been those things... Uh, periodically. Hey, it those, really has. Those things, like, those are stress things, aren't they? 100%. Those, well, I mean, it's two options, right? It's, yeah. It's a, well, I guess... They both can be true, right? It's it's a it's a virus that he's got in him that flares up probably when he's stressed out. Right. Yeah. And you got to be careful of stress related. Yeah. And, yeah. and in the sun too, you huh. should always right. cover your lips too because it's the it's the worst thing. Uh, How do you rusty. cover your lips in the sun? You put a little of that, that white stuff on it. You know that stuff. <laughs> oh, cum. cum? Yeah. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking whore. <laughs> Dave D wants a little cherry pie director's cut for Stacey Allen, please. She's my cherry pie. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got to give a quick shout out to a guy on uh, Twitter by the name of Chopsticks Joe, oh. and uh, he has the WW. Uh, Wait, is that Brock Lee's cousin? <laughs> yes, that's right, Chopsticks Joe. Uh, <laughs> he he's playing the new WWE game, uh, 2K24, I believe, and uh, you can create your own wrestler in the game, and he's he's creating uh, a John. WWE 2K24. Yeah, check it out. It's really good. Look, first of that all, would really be space. a slobber knocker. <laughs> <laughs> and then look what he did for her clothes. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and the dark branded shirt with the hair. Look at that. I love it. Looks like Jameson and John had a kid. <laughs> Who did that? Somebody did a thing with that. Remember the wrestling thing? I think Tuki won it. It was like. A lot of us in it. It was fucking crazy. Anybody you talking know about what the, I'm talking about? The picture? It a, no, it was a video. It was wrestling where I was in there with my green jacket on, Kevin, uh, Tukey, Cardiff came Oh, in. yeah, Remember that was that? that was a video game. That was the last year's uh, 2K. WWE. That was fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. You should have won, <laughs> but. <laughs> it, was, it was fixed. I knew when uh, Tukey retweeted it first that he won. Like, you know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> right. Okay, okay, let me let me go watch it first before I, if I'm fucking knocked out first, I'm not retweeting this fucking thing. Exactly. <laughs> Bob Bob's on top of things these days. He stole the he stole Duke the Dumpster's gimmick. Oh, Drosy, Duke the Dumpster. <laughs> was that the it. creep off creep off? Yeah, it's Vinny. That's our yeah, boy Paulina. That's Vinny Moonhead. Vinny. Yeah, Vinny, be with me in Rochester. Vinny's, a, I, I, I asked for Vinny. Vinny's a great uh, guy to work with. He's really good. He's uh, very funny, and um, and it's fun to make fun of him while you're hanging out, waiting for the show. No, well, have that place thing. is awesome. That club, yeah. is awesome. Mm -hmm. Carlson's uh, one of the best. Yeah. Um, speaking of Bob, he was busy the other it's day. Me. I don't know if you guys saw this. Yeah, this is Bob. Who? That's you. Why am I a dog in that fucking video? Get that down. Get that down. Oh, I forgot about that. She's always fucking, you know what I mean? Jimmy? Uh, I love it. Don't ever I'm stop, not, Jeter. Don't ever stop with the filters. The green screen went out yesterday because it was something wrong, and I kept hitting them out, and it threw me out of the fucking show. And everyone's <laughs> laughing at me. And then I come back in, and then it threw me out again another time from banging because she I go, let me hit the right side. I'm out again. And we just fucking everyone's laughing at me, you fucks. <laughs> That's, you know, that's not right. Don't laugh really, at my Bob, guys. I mean, what's and, wrong and with you? And Poodle's all pissed off. He goes, look at this bullshit on Twitter. And right. he fucking puts this up. And he goes, yeah. oh, yeah. A man that doesn't like doodles is trying to pose as whatever that fucking thing is. Yeah, and when Bob has technical difficulties, guys, don't make fun of him. Just clip it and send it to me so yeah. we can watch it on here. Somebody Thank did you. clip it. Fucking oh, good. Yeah. Why am I a dog in that fucking video? Get that down. Get that down. Get that, down. Get, that down. Get that down. Get that down. Get that down. That would be a good song. It's a good Get boy. Down. That <laughs> a good boy, Bobby. Good boy. Good boy, Bobby. Uh, working out. We got it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. So, John, real quick. Uh, I know we don't usually discuss, but I got to play this clip from Mule. Um, John went on last night again real quick for like 20 minutes or so. He did his sleep bit. He's um, listening. He's listening. Remember, I was talking about it last night. Yeah, he, he uh -huh. thinks. And uh, okay, and I can even say what he's going to say. Just don't go ahead. He's going to say that he gets as many live viewers as me right. when I'm live by right. just sleeping. The password is. That's what he's, <laughs> he's going to say. Check this out. This is weird. He revealed something last night. Wow. Mule caught it. A lot of oh my god, it. he cleaned the blanket. Nice. Yeah. And he's wearing different pants. For wow. Nice. Double nice, as KC would do. <laughs> All right, watch closely. Okay. Where's his hand going? Whoa. What was that? I think he just pulled a big ass bottle of water out of the hold on. Oh, it was behind him. Or in his pocket. Look at this. Look, look, look. What? Ooh. What is that? What is that? Is that fat? What? Underwear wrapped around? Oh, my God. Okay. The underwear has been guided. And then, <laughs> you see what I mean? It's up on one side, maybe. Somebody's saying it's a colostomy bag. <laughs> oh, my God. 
uh, I don't know who said it, but I saw it on Twitter. Somebody said it's a colostomy bag. That's fucking weird, huh? Looks like yeah, when I chicks. wear my purple underwear, I always. You know, chicks have those some of the thongs that like go way up high on the hip and then yeah, and then go down. Yeah. yeah. Are you wearing a thong, dude? Mm. The fuck, John? That's odd. You're looking at 50 gallons of insure out there. <laughs> <laughs> Going right to the gut. Welcome back to the big league, fellas. Oh, hey, Don. <laughs> the big leagues. Oh, hey, would you blow me? <laughs> uh, sure? Yeah. While we're on the dabble verse, there was yeah. an interesting mm-hmm. moment on point dabble point this week. I wanted to show you. Sure. Hmm. Yep. Candace Mazer, two bucks, says, Carl, what's your honest opinion on producer Joe? Producer Joe does an amazing job, and I've actually had conversations with people in the business, in the industry, who have said, how the fuck did Shuli get Producer Joe? He's really good at his job. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've explained to him, like, well, he's... What do you mean, how the fuck did I get him? Uh, what, what, what am I walking around with a football helmet on all day? Like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, maybe John's right, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> How did that fucking bumbling idiot get Joe? How did Joe get me? Anybody ever think of that? <laughs> this guy was this guy was peeling bumper stickers off of cars before I met him. You kidding me? Can we put Wait, a picture? He, uh, can we put a picture of Carl up here so he's uh, not welcome back? <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Uh, Joe put that nice up to make himself uh, look good. Bam! Joe you know Joe is constantly in business for himself, and you got to watch out for that. Yeah, just wanted to remind you that I'm a hot commodity. You know what else is a hot commodity? This chick. Check it out. And I'd much rather pay her than you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. The fuck is it? What's going on? (laughs) Doing. She's doing more at the gym than you are. She's got no arms. Yeah. When I when I told her to go cancel that shit. (laughs) What is she training to be a question mark? (laughs) Man, she must have strong fucking. She'll kick the fuck out of you with that. You see that? That I, I I look. I wouldn't go to the look. <laughs> you wait, wait a minute. If you come into your gym and you see her working out, you're uh, telling me you quit that gym? Yeah, no. I, yeah. I mean, look, I'm, I'm saying if I if I had no arms and, right. and a tank top on, I I would not go to work. Like I'd be like, why am I doing this? You know. But Yo. thank you for doing that and showing people that you know. If I can do stuff, I have no right. arms and a nice rack. <laughs> what am I going to um, And it looks like the Shuli logo. It really oh, does yeah. look like the Shuli <laughs> network. Can you let's, let's ask her if we can use this. as. A, there we go. Look at that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm kind of with you, you know. It's like if I'm in the gym and I see that and I'm going, how much wiping down is going to you know, get rid of whatever the fuck's going on there. You know what I mean? It's time to find a new gym. Yeah, nice tits. Yeah, he ain't bad. Oh, you're talking about her. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. See, you guys can find the find the silver lining. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, this guy can grab her ass, and it's like, what, what are you gonna do? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't yeah, have gotta, to work on. She doesn't have to work on her fat arms. <laughs> She's got to put the pepper spray in her mouth. She's got to kick it up to her mouth. <laughs> catch it. Yeah. The whole yeah, process. They, people do stuff that you know what I mean. It's like this shows how fucking lazy we are. What? Well, don't yeah. say we. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yeah. What do you do? What are you doing all fucking day? day? Oh, well, you go to the gym for what? What do you do in the gym? They have great smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> in the locker room. Mm. Mm. You see what happened to Cardiff? What happened? When school? When he went? To oh, school, you brought this up gym. yesterday. You yeah. said. Let, let me remind everybody. You said you you were talking to Cardiff, and you uh, learned that um, in high school, when they would play shirts versus skins, he would always come up with an excuse, and oh. it ended up that he failed gym because he didn't yeah. want to change or take his shirt off around sure, other dudes. Sure. Yeah, he would throw himself down steps, and be, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like. Uh, a- <laughs> I mean, that's hilarious to go through all that. To, you know what I mean? Just not. To, well, but it's it, bullshit. Like, they wouldn't do that today. today no, I was going to say, back then, the teachers goofed on you as much as the fucking kids. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, yeah. now, you're protected. Like, kids yeah. will go beat up a bully for you these days, whereas they helped back in the day. They fucking. Yeah. 
He gave Mamo. <laughs> OJ showered with his shorts on. Like, this is just weird stuff that, like, I, you know what I would do? I would wear my shorts over my underwear because it's like, you don't want to, like, I just thought it was weird to, uh, change in front of people you know what i mean yeah. like like it's just not you know it, it, it it's something you know next thing you know somebody pulls your underwear off and you uh, and you, you're in the shower for 45 minutes with them <laughs> right the, the gym teacher has to come and grab you and take slow you down. out slow yeah. down anthony's working on it. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but like uh, it's like weird. It's like weird like that shit. And like Dan Filato was saying when he went to school in Chicago, they would swim naked. In a oh, pool. Scott, Scott the engineer told the same story on that's Howard. Weird. But it, I never heard of that. Like, is this that's and not the a teacher college. would goof and I the mean, teacher that. would goof on the kids, like their appearance, their bodies, like yeah. their their dicks, like they would just fucking. Wow, is this true? You had gray pubes in high school? Oh, shut the fuck up, Brian <laughs> Kranger. Uh, I absolutely hated being made to shower with other dudes in the gym. I got in trouble so many times for refusing it. It felt so wrong. And he wasn't even a member at that gym. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he went to a different school. You just show up for showers. He walked by the school and they pulled him in. Get in the shower. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Uh, Baba's auto detail in one of the first matches, a guy got pounded in the nuts. Uh, uh yeah. in UFC one. Absolutely. Dude do lost that. his tooth. Uh, yeah. He's well, it was like blood sport. They just put everybody. They just wanted to get like everybody from every weird martial arts together and see how they would do. There's like a sumo wrestler versus yeah. like some Dutch kickboxer. And that sumo wrestler got annihilated. It was like, you there can't was put those two guys together. How about there was like a karate guy against a boxer? And I'll never forget this. The boxer thought it would be smart if he put just one glove on. You're a boxer. You punch people in the face. <laughs> Why would you come in with a boxing glove on when these guys are all bare knuckle? And and then just one. Just one. That's fucked up. So yeah, he got old. fucked up. Mm -hmm. T-Dick, T-Dick. You can't see that ham. That's that T-Dick <laughs> Uh, Keith Hock Hackney from those early UFCs lives a couple blocks from where I grew up. Runs a plum. Keith Hackney from the that's the guy that got elbowed to death, right? Hackney by uh Pat Smith, I think it was. <laughs> Mike V claims censorship, Cosby to blame, always, mm -hmm. always to blame. Uh, Bob went outside, uh, two more months of winter. No, no, I'm. It's real. It's gonna be fucking eighty today, and I'm alive, motherfucker, and I'm dead. Happy birthday, uh, malware, Bob. When's your last day? Dealerships don't rip, rip off near as much as Shuli's. Uh, well, wow. they already brought my replacement in last night. The rumors <laughs> going around. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We, we're auditioning Don right in front of Bob. We're cucking him. <laughs> Take your we'll cock out, Don. We'll come, Bob, you think you think this guy can't speak incoherently? He can, and he will. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I haven't been watching for about a week. Bob oh. keeps giving me the wrong times. Oh, hey, Don. Oh, hey, Frog. Hey, Bob, thanks for the high. That's Look at it. He looks like a fucking cop that just had enough of this job. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Getting too old for this shit. He's getting too old for Hey, you got a tail light out. No, I don't. <laughs> Do now. <laughs> One of those. Well, look, I Thank didn't give did. any times. I don't give times. I got Aww, everything's look. new times, but everything is uh, set. Bob, I miss your incoherent. Listen to me. I'm not incoherent, okay? Uh, I am. I've studied in Juliet, okay? In and, Juliet. Uh, yeah, yeah, she taught the me prison on the block. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's like uh, I, 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 I try all these characters. One is dumb Bob, you know. One is high Bob. And then, uh, you know, there's other ones, too. You've never tried uh, Mensa Bob or High mm. IQ Bob. I don't want to. I, then I'm just going to be myself. Right. And it's boring. Nobody's going to dig it's it. It's not what people. Where's funny, Bob? It's it's, in, it's under your mother's bed, you cocksucker, John. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I'll come here. Ban him. <laughs> you will be shunned from here. One of our favorites, Janet, the evil lawyer. I stayed at a hotel and the window was broken. I told the lady at the front. And she said, no worry. Almost no one breaks in here in, in, in a long time. Seriously. Wow. wow. That's mm -hmm. comforting. That's fun. 
I'm here, Bo. Uh, thank you, buddy, for the two bucks. I'm here for the Stuttering John Bob Vince the Lawyer Show update. Well, mm. let's give it to you. What's the update, there is, Bob? There is no John in this. Okay, right. this is a one on one. It can't even be one on one because it, he's too small to be one. Okay, <laughs> he's not full size. Right, he's not full head. size. It, this is this is a handicap match. You know, <laughs> this, this is this, like this is like when they had Bundy wrestle three midgets at the same time. Yeah. Remember those matches? Yeah, yeah. So this is one against the quarter, okay? <laughs> and and uh, I will go over some stuff that I want played, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And because uh, I want to, uh, and then I will counterpoint anything he has to say because he may be a lawyer. But let me mm. tell you something. I got my degree in the streets, motherfucker, Vince. Woo! Let me tell you something. You fucking little, tiny, garden-headed fuck. He's got that fucking hair. Like, I've never seen anything like that. It's like water the fucking thing. You got to tell him, take the hat off or I leave the show. Right out the gate. Tell him, oh, you want to do the show? taking it off. <laughs> I love it. Oh I fuck, Vince it. the lawyer. How do you know I'm not gonna? How do you know I'm not mm. gonna just fucking grab him by that little hair on the top of his fucking head, grab one of his ears and make him squeal like a fucking rodent? Because he's not a size of a pig. No. Vince has Lego head. I never yeah. thought of that. It's not bad. Uh vexing code. I went to the gym and saw an old guy washing his ugh in the nuts in the uh, washing his nuts in the sink the completely sink. nude Oof. with another guy brushing his teeth in the sink <laughs> next to him see, you see this is why it this is not okay anything to do with the bathroom should be done by yourself you know what i mean if you're yeah. in a, anything with a shower anything like that unless it's a woman you get in there and you're like fucking yeah let me soap slide in that cunt you know <laughs> but i'm just saying that fucking you 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 can't have people around. You want somebody brushing their teeth. Now, even both of you are brushing your teeth. Uh, I was going to say, brushing yeah. your teeth is even annoying and weird to do at the gym yeah. next to next to people. Like, for what? Bachelor. What are you doing? A bachelor? That's the guy next to him going, hey, excuse me, sir, can you not wash your almonds so close to me? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you just go, hey, let me get that left one with my toothbrush. <laughs> I'll get it real shiny. <laughs> what the fuck is a bathroom? What are they talking about? <laughs> it's, where, it's where Batman takes a shit. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Never too early for this guy. Son of a gun. Uh, Vince wants Bob to be his next whack packer. That's not going to happen. I am yeah. fucking God, motherfucker. All right? I am fucking everything anybody wants to fucking be. So fuck off and I will fucking, I will fucking, I will slap the shit out of that little fucking rodent. Uh, people only go to the gym now to be narcissistic. Well, exactly. listen, you walk by somebody's camera shot and it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you just killed a puppy in front of them. Yeah, it's unbelievable that people have to film everything, you know? It's like you can't do nothing. Next thing you know, you're a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My thoughts exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Did you guys know Coachella was happening this weekend? The big music... Uh festival where is that it's in uh palm springs california okay. it's that in the middle what, of nowhere yeah what is that like I, i've heard of it but like what kind of bands play in it so all kinds i mean really the the biggest bands out these days some, the biggest some the, band in the land some of the classics of course uh you know old older groups sometimes reunite or just play there and shit oh, i love that uh no doubt with Gwen Stefani. Well, I can pass on that. That's the thing. Like, I'm watching it, right? Like, here, here's, in case you missed it, there's this uh, lady who's very popular these days, Ice Spice. No, you and, see? Uh, no, I don't even want to know it. And it, whoa, look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this is her performance. In case you missed her performance at Coachella yesterday. There you go. That's that's talent right there. Hey. Uh, and I just, got, I just got to thinking of, like, how depressing... It's got to be for this generation and many more to come. They don't know any better. That's they don't gonna know. Be, they got to be taught, you know? They, they don't know what a fucking great concert is.
they don't, they don't know, know what a good guitar player is. They don't know what a great bass player is. They don't know what a great drummer is. They don't know what a great singer is. They don't know what a band is anymore. It's like, grow the fuck up with this shit. Somebody has to come through and smack this shit and take on this fucking thing and pop it up again. You, you always thought it was going to be that uh, that Led Zeppelin sounding band. What's that name of them? Greta, Greta Van Fleet. Fleet. Yeah, I, yeah, that would bring that and other bands like they would bring with them that, you know, the open. I don't know what they do, but, you know, you thought that was going to kind of be the thing. But it's going to it has to be about six bands that yeah, come listen, and hit. I'm going to tell you this right now. I've been to all kinds of concerts, uh, hip hop, you know, uh, all kinds. I've of had metal. them all over the world. <laughs> and there is no better concert, no better energy than a rock or a metal concert. The, they are the best concerts to go to. It is mm-hmm. it is the most energy. It's the closest thing to a show. Like, yeah, man, that that the, the other shit. I've seen them. It's like fucking uh, guy rapping up there, and forty of his friends are on the goddamn stage with him, and it's like, and everybody's just standing there. You're if you ain't selling, they ain't buying, daddy. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Wife and I are going to Lamb of God and Mastodon, 20th mm-hmm. anniversary of Ashes of the Wake, one of the greatest albums ever made, Ashes of the Wake. You know oh, who I'm phenomenal. warming up to go see? Huh? Yes. September they're coming. Who? Their last tour, and they meant it. They meant it when they said their last tour, not like that shit band with fucking makeup on. ELO. Wow. I've been catching up on their music, like a lot of it, like the live stuff. Unbelievable. You know yeah. what I mean? Unbelievable. So I told my son, you know, we got to go see it, and the wife wants to go, and his girlfriend. So I said, we'll see. I'll give you the garden dings and I'll give you the Philly dings. And if you all like pick a day to get off, you know, and it's just going to be fucking amazing. I saw them in 80, something like that. It was at the Brendan Byrne arena. That's how long ago it was. Jesus. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I don't know if they're, they're arena. If they're going to play on the ELO because they're doing MLC, MLC, MSG. What is it? Madison Square Garden, MLC. Yeah. MLC. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, they're so loud. I'm in the hand for this guy. <laughs> Electric Line Orchestra. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You got to stop. She said you got to stop. It's too loud. Is uh, it really a living thing? <laughs> hey, I like these guys. I kind of don't. They kind of fucking suck. Give it up for ELO. How about Let's a hand for these hacks? <laughs> I'm not paying you. I'm not paying E L or O. <laughs> uh, send Boston the link. <laughs> but, uh, Where's our EO Speedwagon? Adam, call this one E L Homo. <laughs> but uh, Clutch, what a great band. Would, and they're would great. They be playing, I don't think, Mike, I think E L O. E-L-O, E, uh, it's like L-O-L, L-O-L, I can't say L-O-L uh, that good, but would they be playing the garden? They wouldn't do Brendan Burns then or whatever that area, like, you know, whatever stadium, right. uh, but that they would either. probably just go to Philly instead, but uh, I'm going to check the dates, but I want to get good seats. You, you have to get good seats because if, you, if you're not, you know, when, when me and my son went to see Paul McCartney, we were pretty close, but it's mm-hmm. fucking huge, the stadium. Yeah. And like, you can only see when they were, Total, like Paul would always be out, but when he's at the piano, you really couldn't see him mm-hmm. on stage because it was on the side a little bit. But so uh, next time Paul McCartney comes, front row. Watch, I'm getting it, baby. That's uh, how you fucking do it because you want it to be something that you fucking. It, it's a one-time thing in your life that you fucking had a time like that at a con. E L O blows. So, Fuck right, so you, Dusty uh, Moose nice. Nucky. At the Wells Fargo. Who? <laughs> I'm yelling at Dusty. At the Wells Wait, hold Center. on. Where'd he go? Dusty Moose Nucky? ELO fucking blood. No, you might think they do, but they don't. I might have thought that at times too, but I listen. You know what I mean? You could say you hear something on the radio. The radio, I learned from Jim Florentine, who used to call me Harry Hits, that there's a lot more on album. <laughs> uh, it says Anonymous Caveman Growers, ELO Live Now will be a disappointment. I don't think so. 
I really think he can still sing. And uh, if not, you have uh, women doing the high stuff in the back. They have a singer. You know what I mean? They have excellent, like Paul McCartney. Uh, you know, he can may not hit all the high notes, but uh, the drummer can and the, the other background, the guys. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really, it, it doesn't affect it. You know, yeah, and and people are not going to these shows expecting to see the band from thirty years ago. They just want to hear the songs that they love from mm -hmm. thirty years ago. That's mm -hmm. all it is. It's 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 a hang. It's a, it's a it's one a love big, fest. It's one big time machine we all get into, and we sit there and and you reminisce and you feel young and you you remember the days when you used huh? to play this shit in your car and and I and, still play it. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, you know, everything that goes on. <laughs> Duck inside these four walls. What did you buy that uh, off the set of yeah. Separate Ways from Journey, <laughs> the music video? Yes. I don't know. It's yeah. one of my sons. The only time I've seen a, a bass like that. Uh, oh, Galron, the great. I let my twin pieces dangle when, <laughs> when at the Klingon gym. I know that, Galron. That's why you rule. What would you say is the best concert you guys ever went to? Uh, okay, I got and chat. I'm asking chat two? too. Go ahead. My first one was Kiss, but they can go fuck themselves because I just went there for the fire. Okay, for the pyro, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Or Gene blowing out the fire. Two yeah. best concerts I've ever been to. Yeah. One, of course, is Paul McCartney. Okay. Second, with no doubt, not no doubt. Right. <laughs> The Foo Fighters. Oh, they put on a great fucking show. They put on a great show. Yeah. They they rock and and we got to fucking hang out with them and that was fucking amazing. And he's such like, a nice was, guy. He's such a nice guy. And, and what a brilliant. I mean, think about that, right? Yeah. The guy went from being the drummer. Think of how many hits they have. How many fucking amazing songs they did. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. No, it, it was it was amazing. Yeah, too. I saw them, I saw them last year. They are amazing. They're great. Yeah, the best I've seen. And the opening band was like it was just like the bass was the lead. They were from England, but they blew up after that. They were fucking and they were they were a cool hang. We were hanging out with them too. Just fucking like real people. Like it's amazing. Yeah. You think that they have like you know Rudy Sarzo, one of the nicest guys in the world. Just a fucking one of the coolest motherfuckers. And 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 Dave Grohl, like his mother was there. She like everybody was nice. Everybody was so fucking nice. It was like you would just hang like it wasn't like you were in the way or anything. And it was just like so much fucking fun. And to it felt see, like family. Like, right. Yeah. You, you seen them from the side of the stage. And then when we went in the seats and Jim's son was there, too. Wow, he's great. And Thank my you. son was there. And it was just such a fucking like amazing thing. Uh, mumbling Nick, aka the Nooch. Thanks for the five months, buddy. I want all doxing of innocent people to stop. We all know Vince, the lawyers behind it. No, please don't. Please don't forget that Bob, when you negotiate with that mini terrorist. No, that's one thing that I don't like. You know what I mean? I don't like it at all. And uh, it takes like you know what I mean. It went from being fun to you know what the fuck is going on. This is just like it's you know you have to win by jokes. You're comedians mm. and. That's the way it should be. And that's the way it's going to be. Otherwise, I'm going to put that motherfucker in a blender and make a banana daiquiri and nobody will know that he's in there. And he'll be uh, gone. Looney Tunes, local metal band, set a dude on fire. He flailed for too long and passed out behind the drummer, stayed there. We were all worried. <laughs> Next day, I met the guy. The whole thing was fake. Now that's a show. Yeah. yeah, that was like Alice Cooper back in the day. He used to fucking do all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah, but uh, there Mike, is a lot of Mike good said, punch. Oh, God, he just ruins everything. I know. Uh, Mike you, Mike said that the Foo Fighters were one of the best concerts, but you didn't say they were the best concert. Well, I, th my my favorite concert that I was at was the Stones. Can I guess? Because, yeah, go ahead. The Stones? Gordon, Gordon Lightfoot. Yeah. No, go ahead. If the you Stones? could read my mind, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture Mike there. Good good. Yeah. Woo! And it was a, good, it was a really good one because he, he did a 45 minute shirt on. He did a 45 minute. He did a 45 minute rendition of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgeralds. So oh, <laughs> Christ <laughs> Almighty! <laughs> oh, another thing. Okay, you got to go. It was with the Stones there, Froggy. The because I had front row yeah. seats. I was wow. like, we were at at the stadium at JFK or whatever it is in Philly, and uh, and yeah, we had front row seats, wow. man. Just 
That's Amazing. great. Also, yeah. I have to say, uh, you know, I we're going back in the day, but uh, Queen and the Who. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw the Who amazing. together, Bob. Yeah, at that fucking the little or uh, it was a smaller arena. But it was like, like I used fourth, to go see them uh, farewell three, tour. Yeah, yeah, three times at like the Garden, like both of them, Queen, Foreigner. You know, I got to see Def Leppard open for. Uh, Who's the guy that danced like a little girl on the thing and his fucking career went down, down Billy the thing? Billy Squire? Billy Squire. Billy Squire was headlining. <laughs> he and knew fucking, that was a good pull, Mike. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 well, and well, this doesn't Bob. look like Billy Squire to you? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's a matter of speaking Bob. It's not even about what yeah. he's doing or saying. It's just a matter of knowing Bob, yeah. But that Bob. their main album came out, the bigger one. <laughs> and it just came out like fucking a day before the concert. And they fucking they blew him off stage, and that was it. Oh, they course. were headlining from that time on, and that was great. And Cheap Trick at the the, the small theater in New York City that they used to do. Mike, I don't know yeah. if you know the names of the yeah. of the ones that they used to that, that like a lot of bands would well, play. The Hammerstein, no uh, room, uh, CBGBs, no. It was a big, it, you know, a couple lounge. thousand, couple thousand, four thousand, three thousand. Oh. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, a, Th- now. a Thompson member for eight months. Julie, what was the best live slash acoustic performance you saw in Stern? He had some great ones. This might surprise you, but I, I, um, I had no idea. I wasn't a fan or listened to any Lady Gaga stuff. But when she came in and just sat at the piano and played, uh, I thought she was amazing. Blew yeah. my mind. I, I'm a big fan of less is more. Like, I love metal, but one of my favorite things is just an artist with a guitar or a piano, and that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. It's it's just mm-hmm. them kind singing. It's it's talent in its most raw and purest form. Um, and when they blow up, they're never like that again, really. Like, it, mm-hmm. that moment is a small window, you know, that, that you catch them in. Um, and then they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So Lady Gaga, for me, was a total yeah. surprise because I'm like, I don't fucking listen to this shit. And then and she Anthony just said, said something that Anthony guy, he said, why in Y and T? Okay. A good band. You know what I mean? Uh, summertime girls like live. Are they like amazing? I mean, I know people like them a lot, but Who? they're not as Y and T. Yeah. Y and T. What's the name of the band? Why not? Y and T. Y and T. Y T. Y T. Somebody why fucking not? do it. Somebody <laughs> tell me. Yeah. I know what it is. Summertime girls. <laughs> Sometimes girls. Somebody Whoa, goes uh, Bob Babbles. No fucking yeah, yeah. shit, you motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I do. In. I'm babbling Bob, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Uh Metallica at the Apollo was fucking sick. Mm, that that uh, was amazing. Uh, uh watching them at Orion Fest. The Metallica, one of the best. Uh Pearl Jam at the Aladdin after the second mm-hmm. album. They were fucking unbelievable. They were with Mud Honey and I think Screaming Trees, I think I was the other band. They, all three of them killed yeah. it. Um, I saw, I saw uh, Stone Temple Pilots, the, just like Bob said, their album had just dropped and blew up and yeah. in a, at this little shitty outdoor uh, festival, and they were opening for Butthole Surfers. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And love they, that band. Yeah, but I mean, they just smoked the uh, surfers. There was a small theater in Vegas called the Huntridge Theater, and I saw Blind Mel in there, Right when they blew, and they were fucking that band. That dude was so talented, the singer. Mm-hmm. And then oh. I saw Tool there once. Hmm. Uh, and I'm talking small venues, crazy. Uh, best concerts uh, trial retrospective in Seattle on YouTube, Insanity Start to Finish, Noel mm-hmm. Gallagher, uh, third is Oasis Songs. Okay. So trial. Third's good. <laughs> Try. I, no, I don't know. I'm not familiar with Trial. I don't, but, I don't and ACDC is supposed to come on tour, so I'm, I definitely. Yeah, but he's deaf that. now. Isn't the lead singer like oh. deaf now? Huh? He's deaf ah, now. But, but they're all deaf. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I mean, he had to stop deaf. Like he. he no, couldn't... I think he's all right now. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> he's okay he's, now. He's he got new ears. Yo. Beacon Theater, Bob. Yes. Holy shit. All right. That's hey. where I seen them. Thank you, Sunshine. Pink Floyd in 94. I saw that tour at the Rose Bowl in California. Uh, unbelievable. Was that, that was the one where they took 
they had what looked like it was just laying down across the front and they start playing comfortably numb and the whole thing rises up mm. and the top of it is a disco ball that unfolds and becomes a mushroom top. And then they turn all the stadium lights and point it at this mushroom top. And everybody at the Rose Bowl was covered in white dot. Like you, whether you're on something or not, you're tripping balls, man. <laughs> that was amazing. We uh, tried to get tickets for Pink Floyd. I think it was Animals. Was that like about 1980 or something like that? Animals was uh, before that. That was the 70s. So, yeah, late 70s. Yeah. yeah. And that might have been that then. We took mescaline. We had five hundred dollars each to scalp ticket. Go ahead. And fucking the scalpers just laughed at us for that price. <laughs> they laughed at us. And we went home to my friend's place. We went in the basement and played bumper pool in the oh, dark. I used to love bumper pool. In the dark. <laughs> dark. On mescaline. <laughs> and you all you hear is and it goes and it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Best shows, Motorhead, okay. Merciful Fate, Exciter, 1986, and Rush Time Machine Tour 2011. Rush was the first big show I took my son to. My uh, The first big show I took my daughter to, well, I, the first metal show I took her to was Amon Amarth. She was six. And then yeah. a year later, we went and saw Iron Maiden at the Barclays. And uh, she fucking loved it. She loved it. Uh the Clash played 18 mm. nights at Bonds NYC. Wow. Can you imagine that shit? Uh, well, yeah, the Clash got you. They were opening for the Stones. Mm -hmm. You know? That was Clash of the Titan, them. Anthrax, Megadeth, Slayer with Alice in Chains opening and Alpine. What the fuck? Look, look Clash at those of the Titan. Bands. I mean, tell Anthrax, us you hate your parents, Megadeth. You hate your parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, you're coming home with blood. It may not be yours, but you're coming home bloody. Thank you, James, oh for the five God, bucks. I found the house. Look at what I just stepped on. It, it must have fell out of the uh, the thing from the dog laying in the box. But it's a it's a it's a card that I hold made. On. Oh, one of your lovely. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me open it. Uh, oh, it's a happy birthday one. Oh, I can't believe she didn't hang that up. Oh. Where's my glasses? Happy yeah. birthday in the box. <laughs> Maybe you're stepping on those too. I Check by your feet. It. I'm just going to keep it there. Uh, Ween is the best live band. Never <laughs> seen him live. Never seen him live. <laughs> Many colors in the homo rainbow. Yeah. Uh, Michael P. Go Bills. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in my 40s and I'm really into the nostalgic small venue concerts. Grohl doing Everlong Acoustic on Stern in 99, 2000 ish was amazing. Yeah. Go Bills. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That I'm was... thinking of having Bob Stock in the backyard here. You should. I'm thinking. You should. About it. You should get all tiny people bands. You know, no. they have Little Kiss. They <laughs> have. No, I don't uh, need them. I have my own band. God damn it! And plus, I have a band. That... Have Little Kiss open for you. I, mean, yeah. I don't need no Little Kiss to open. They have a little ah, little Lady it's... Gaga too. It's midgets in a backyard with makeup on. No, I'm not. I don't want him around. The dogs are gonna kill them. You know, I know. I know what's gonna happen. So That's I true. Can't, He's know? gonna think one of them's a ball. He's gonna start running after it. Yeah, yeah. good point. I didn't think of that. Run, little Ace, run. <laughs> Soundgarden '94, Sunken Garden Theater, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was another one. Cornell, watching him play acoustic and live, was. It just gives you chills, dude. It's just some people, uh, their sound, you can feel what they're singing about. It's crazy. Yeah, even Bruce. Bruce was like that. I wasn't a huge fan. But never was, liked Bruce. A, I like a couple songs, but I never great got concert. it. Great never concert. Got it. Bruce! Not uh, you. No. <laughs> Metallic one. Metallica and the cult at Red Rocks tripping. But dude, anything at Red Rocks yeah. is fucking bananas. I'd but like that's to check great. that place out. Uh, that looks amazing. Wait a minute. It's, it's what's his name's birthday today? Uh, Kenick Pogi. Hey, happy birthday, happy Pogi. Birthday, Pogi. Happy birthday. Julie, show us your shirt. What? Hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. <laughs> uh, Chi Town Pro Wrestling Tees. Best. Best concert was Muse. You'd love them. I've heard they put on crazy shows. I don't even know about them at all. Oh, they're really good, Bob. And now he's never going to listen to them. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he heard your recommendation. He's like, I'm out. If he likes them, I ain't doing it. 
Yeah, Broken Toenail is a band I listen to. <laughs> I mean, he's just <laughs> Floyd in 1977, the only tour where they performed Animals okay. and Wish You Were Here played all the wow. way through. Wow. wow. That was that was probably the thing. I would have loved to have seen uh it's my favorite thing of Roger Waters besides his hatred of Jews is um the pros and cons of hitchhiking. He's watching that the album. wall with hand cream next to it. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> he can't wait. He's been praying for this moment. But pro the pros and cons of hitchhiking, I highly recommend if you've never listened to it, get get your shit set up, get yourself some great weed, put on your headphones, your AirPods, whatever the fuck it is. Hit track one, do not shuffle, go from beginning to end and enjoy. Enjoy. I, I, I it's one of the it's one of the greatest. It's a movie set to music. It's 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 amazing. Uh Rebellion, five bucks. Trans Siberian Orchestra has a killer show. There's fire lasers, smoke, and old school hair metal feel. Don't they, aren't they like playing pan flutes and shit? That band? Burns goes to that every year, remember? He couldn't do Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember we made fun of him. Yeah. I don't Go know. ahead. What is this? This is what we're going to get for the Shuli Network Christmas party this year. Uh, Go it's got to be played without the sound because of the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. See, this is what Mini I'm Gaga. saying. Mini Gaga. I, I was at a roast with her once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Unless they've changed Mini Gagas on us. Could be. I hope they don't. They could outsource. Oh. It was the roast of Fred the Elephant Boy. It was at a comedy club in the city, and I walk in, and in the green room is Fred and Mini Gaga and me, and <laughs> and I just remember sitting there going, "I really got to learn to say no more." Uh, I won tickets for PF off Pink radio. Floyd. Ah, off radio, tenth floor on grass. Wow! Wow! So you're one you. of those callers. <laughs> uh, I can't seven. believe I won. I never win anything. I never. I just make fun of fucking old guys on a fucking internet. All right, make sure you tell everybody what's your number one station, and what you listen to day and night. Go ahead, Janet, the evil lawyer. <laughs> uh, Stuttering John singing "Gypsy Morning" <laughs> on Conan in '94. <laughs> Dig it. Good to see well, that, you. That live rendition of Downtown is pretty uh, intense. Oh God, yeah. that. That package last night was so funny. We'll finish that tonight uh, as well as some other stuff. Saw Pearl Jam in 96 at Randall's Island Unreal. They may be, they might be the greatest live band I've ever seen, Pearl Jam. Good. Saw them at uh, Jazz Fest. Wow. wow. I mean, I think they turned it down a bit at Jazz Fest, wouldn't you say? Listen, it's in New Orleans. You can do anything. I mean, if I get... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I saw them at yeah. acoustic stock. They were great. <laughs> uh, Google. Hey, so do you ever go to Snooze Fest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? And I forgot. Why, where are uh, you working, Anthony? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anthony's very funny. He may go a little long. He's like my dog. He's very long. Yeah. I thought it was Zen's yeah. house after 10 p.m. Yeah, saying Anthony's very funny was more insulting than yeah. the joke you said before that. How dare you? Yeah. I'll let um, Bob go with that one because uh, he's in mourning, judging by his arm. <laughs> <laughs> Slipknot. Slipknot's amazing live. Amazing. Lamb of God, amazing live. Uh, I'm on a mark. Google Mike pulling out Google Translator to figure out what Bob said. Hats off, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, man. It it's should a be skill. a thing that takes my voice and tells you what it does. What oh, Soundgarden opening for GNR in 91. Uh, how about Metallica and Guns N' Roses? Irvine Meadows. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Been there. You know who I saw that was one of the best concerts I've ever watched was, who? oddly enough, Weird Al Yankovic. Really? What a what a killer, man. If I saw him in Syracuse with my friend, big fans, like we were just huge Weird Al Yankovic big fans, Compton. and he, was a, he puts on a show. I bet. That guy rocks. I could see his show being a lot of fun. They were yeah. so fun. It was great. Yeah. The fans are great, and everyone's wearing their Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Megadeth iced Earth in a small club in 94. Wow. I, oh, was I was, there with you, buddy? Was, uh, was Richard Was Richard playing drums for Iced Earth at that time? 94. Yeah. Might have been. I was 
Schaefer was Schaefer was was on the guitar, right? I saw I okay. saw them in two thousand one <laughs> or two thousand two at the Chance. They were unbelievable. Yeah, great, yeah. great fucking yeah. concert. Yeah. I didn't know they toured so much that. together. They did. Yeah. Uh, I also went to live uh, eight in eight. London. Lineups and oh, Live Aid, Live Aid, Live Aid. Live Aid. Hmm. Oh, Live Aid. That's Live Aid. Well, I think you know. You can't say AIDS. Aid. <laughs> you can't oh my YouTube god! Yeah. No, there's they have a bunch of Live Aids. So they then they start counting them up. So it's Live Two, Live Three. <laughs> three. Makes sense. They, MB they member for five months. Thank you, buddy. BS on my Monday morning drive. Ah, all is right in the world, Bob. For the weed smell, you need to get. Uh, I don't. Oh. Sm I, I don't. Do, I, no, I'm talking about when I'm in the fucking. I I, I want cigarettes in a hotel room. Palo Santo sticks. I smoke weed when I'm working. Uh, Shuli, why are your numbers so low when it's just you and Mike? Bob, you almost, you do almost as much solo. Don't have to split. Bob, do you know math? Division. Boom. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but we got your five bucks. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean to sound like a Bob Levy, but the earlier Coachella Fest were better. Pearl Jam at the Santa Barbara Bowl blew my Ooh. mind. Pearl Jam's the shit, dude. See them live. They're, they got a new album coming out. They'll be touring again. And the other cool thing they do is they let all their fans record their shows. Like, they have a whole section there where you bring your equipment, plug it in, your mics, all that shit, and you can record your shows and all the fans, you know, share and trade shows around. That's you hear that, cool. Vince? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Magellan, 10 bucks. Best concert I uh, never saw. Guns N' Roses, Smashing Pumpkins. Chicago concert was canceled after a fight the night before in St. Louis and Axel was wanted by the police. Oh, yeah. We were on our way when it happened. He got yeah, kicked he out of crazy. Yeah. He got kicked out of the, uh, resort that I, I worked at in Sedona. Hmm. He was there with a chick and he was skinny dipping in the pool and in the restaurant, they have these like 20 foot high windows and it looks <laughs> over at all the red rock mountains. But if you just look down, there's the pool and it looked like two chicks skinny dipping until one of them got out. And you saw a dick, and uh, and they told him you either it have was to. Not her. <laughs> they said you either got to put clothes on, uh, bathing suit on, or you have to leave. Um, and he went back to his cabana, and and they trashed it. And he wrote on the mirror and lipstick, "Send me the bill, Axel Rose." And I was like, "That's fucking rock and roll, dude. That's what it's all about." Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. I mean, go, going to see a Guns N' Roses concert back then, it was like betting on a horse. Like, you didn't know if it was going to happen and you know what the outcome was going to be. Like, he might be on stage for five minutes going, you know, yes, yeah. I took a picture. Fuck you, I'm out of here. And just, it's over. And it was yeah. starting at 1 a.m. usually, you know, <laughs> nine o'clock starting time. Yeah. Well, that was, I remember going to see two live crew back in the day. I was still in high school and, and we went to, uh, the country club in Reseda. The show was supposed to start at nine o'clock. They got on stage at twelve thirty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, Paul McCartney don't pull seven. that shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, Paul, I mean, Paul's old. He's got to take a nap at the right time. Well, yeah, everybody's in there. Everyone's like, it's it's eight o'clock. In the audience, everybody. Right. Like, I mean, Paul McCartney's you know. like there. Uh, he's working on. He's got his little stopwatch on his phone, trying to get to twelve. If I get to twelve, I can go on stage. <laughs> if we hit the goal, I'll do another half hour. You know, Mike, were uh, you there when uh, at the show when Paul almost fell on stage and everyone's like, "Ooh!" No, yeah. and, he, yeah. and he comes, he does a little dance, right? Doogly, doogly, you know. <laughs> Allie and Tony do improv. How you feeling, kiddo? The OBGYN told us to play classical music for the baby while pregnant, yeah. so Tony puts on Ozzy Osbourne all the time for AJ. AJ loves it. I had to tell Tony the doctor meant classical music, not classic <laughs> rock. Now AJ loves Ozzy. Oh, Listen, it's uh, the same with, um, you know, when when my oldest was a baby and I'd give her a bath and, uh, and I'd put on metal music, and that's how she got into a Mon Marth. Like, she... She wanted to know the lyrics. She wanted to know what they were singing about. Yeah. She loved that whole Viking thing. She like got into it. It was great. Yeah, I loved remember it. when I was giving my son a bat, and uh, <laughs> it was last week, and we were playing this. 
Uh, Axl Rose you, might still bathe nude, but there's nothing skinny about it. That is true. Can you believe that they're playing it? They're playing. They played the hard rock, and I was talking to him about it. And they go, the guy says, "Who? We don't want my son's band." And oh, they okay. go, "We don't want it loud. We don't want it loud." And I go, "Go play it fucking loud and tell them to go fuck themselves." That's what you do. You you don't fucking you know you can't listen to these motherfuckers, even though it's good money. But fuck them, man. You know, you you got to go there and fucking blow shit out. You can't listen to the, these motherfuckers. Well, they're like telling you what to do. I've seen bands do that to other bands, like when they co-headline shows. Like I saw, it was Lamb of God and Avenged Sevenfold, and Lamb of God went on before them, and then Avenged Sevenfold came out to close the show. And I swear to you, they turned the the volume down halfway after Lamb of God left. It just the sound was completely different. It's almost like this. You remember this when? Uh, a douchebag host or whatever on the show, they go like this. They, they go, uh, after you're set, they come, or whatever, they come back and they go, hey, how about a, how about a hand for Bob Levy? You know what I mean? And they don't say it into the mic. So nobody knows what they're saying. Nobody claps. You know what I mean? Like the, they, I've seen people do that. And it's like the biggest douchebag fucking move ever. These fucking comedians. But they, they, go, they go, well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, you know what's going to be fun? Beating you in the fucking parking lot, you piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, Love Rock, but Earth, Wind, and Fire, 1979. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but see, and I agree with you then, because back then, people were still putting on a fucking show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, choreographed fucking dances. They had, they, they, it, it was a show. I remember that tour. That was called uh, 20 feet, 25 Feet of Cock on Stage Tour. <laughs> <laughs> My first two concerts, The Monkees, Weird Al in 87 wow. with my parents and GN GNR, Metallica, Faith No More in 92 with my older cousin. Saw my first live boobs. Oh, nice. boobs at concerts. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fucking Queen with uh, uh, Adam Lambert. Bicycle. bicycle. No, no, <laughs> no. He didn't. Uh, what is that? George Michael. I want to ride my bicycle. He, the yeah. girls come out and they were all fucking naked on the bikes. And That's in, great. At Madison Square Garden, and it was just the place erupted. Rod Stewart, yeah. another concert that kicked ass back in the day. He was another another showman. All, yeah, all the way to fuck up, like and fucking knock people out. Basically, it, it was a great concert. You wouldn't think it would be. Jeff Spangler, I want a trip to Germany to That's see me. the Rolling Stones. That's one me. week. Huh. One week, all expenses paid. Took my pregnant wife for our honeymoon. That's badass. Yep. Yeah, that's a picture you. of me. That's yeah. me, right? Yeah, that's it's you. Good. Maybe yeah. I should put my hair on the side. You should. Yeah, better, looks better than that. And work out. <laughs> Van <laughs> Halen, really ACDC. <laughs> Look at me. If I sit up straight, I'm a fucking Iron Man. <laughs> I'm a fucking meanest fucking... That's more parting it in the middle of your head, though. Shut the fuck up and do what you do back there and mind your own fucking bees of wax. I like that. Thank you, Broccoli. Uh, Van Halen, ACDC, Cheap Trick, The Who, uh, Rush, Grateful Dead, Bob Dylan at Giant Stadium, Kiss, uh, Window Plasmatics, Kiss, Quiet Riot, Quiet Riot. Hmm. We're not gonna take it. No. No. A buddy of mine in Vegas years ago calls me. He goes, what are you doing? I said, nothing. He goes, I'm picking you up. We're going to see a concert. I'm like, what, what concert? I get in the car. We're driving over. I said, where are we going? We're going to the Hilton. I said, what's going on at the Hilton? There's never concerts at the Hilton. He goes, Tiffany, the singer Tiffany is playing the lounge in the bar. We're going to go watch Tiffany. I'm like, I'm going to fucking go watch Tiffany. I don't want to go watch Tiffany. We ended up, it was like 12 people there. We ended up having such a great time. And then we all hung out afterwards and went bowling with Tiffany and her husband afterwards. <laughs> me, me and my stoner friends, we had a blast. It was a fun show. It's all about the performer, man, and, and how they set that table, what they do. Like, she could have easily been pissed up there. There was only 12 people. Instead, she put on a great fucking show. It's She's not about fun. the people that didn't come. It's about the people that did come. Thanks, man. Mm. Thanks, man. That's deep, bro. I think the, uh, I'm alone now. 
Oh I, my I god! I really am alone now. <laughs> Wait, she is now. <laughs> well, we were we were moshing during that song. We were just fucking. We were having a blast. The Chance and Toads uh, are great little clubs. Okay. Oh, I yeah. oh yeah. The Chance. Did, did we great. do that? No. What is the place we did in Connecticut? We used to do that all the time. God damn it! A lot of rock uh, bands. Uh, from North Jersey, I saw Guns N' Roses at the Garden. They showed up three hours late when they played November Rain on a rainy November night. The arena began to smell like anxious vag. Oh, my God. <laughs> anxious vag. I, I seen them three times, too. They were good. Uh, anxious vag, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a I great thing. I've opened for them. Uh, Granny Banger. I won tickets to Ozfest in Dallas in 2008. They also gave me tickets to Ozfest a week later in San Antonio. It was a great effing show. Yeah, Ozfest, fucking, and Lollapalooza. That was a fucking great tour back in the day. Zen is 100 percent right about Weird Al. One of the best shows I've ever seen. I know it's hard to believe someone who chats as a Klingon is also into Weird Al. Yes, Gowron. You want to get these people to break character? You just get all nerdy on them, and they're like, "Yeah, no, but seriously, guys, like Weird Al was like one of the most phenomenal bands." So. They got to drop the gimmick to get yeah. nerdy. <laughs> uh, when my son was a baby, he would cry, and we would blast "Little Black Backpack" by Stroke Nine, and he would laugh and clap. Aww. It was the only thing that made him happy. Good job, mom. <laughs> I know I was gonna leave it out because I wasn't gonna be happy yeah, yelling yeah. at me. But. I know I never give a shit. Uh, uh, saw Sinatra bad. near the end was amazing in context. Yeah. See, like I saw Rickles near the end, and and, and I feel like I wish I would have never seen it because from what I remember to what I watched, mm. it it was a completely different guy. Not you know? good. It wasn't good. Look, it's Rickles. It's good, but it's like. It was a lot of apologizing, which which Don Don would throw out a blanket one at the end of the show, mm -hmm. you know. But after every joke, it was just like, you know, I'm kidding. You know, I, of course we know you're kidding. You're Don fucking Rickles. Destroy everybody. <laughs> she was like, no, I'm serious this time. Yeah. I'm dead serious. I hate Jews. <laughs> not, this is not. It'd be great. He goes, this is not a fucking joke. Listen to me, black people. <laughs> Taking a... Con taking a continuing legal education class online and i kid you not the topic is to <laughs> dabble or not to dabble oh, man. Nice. thanks for the laugh boys thank you durst oh you know who i i seen twisted sister at the factory oh. in staten island and i remember we did an interview with uh whatever his name is again i'm fucking uh, d snyder d snyder, d. snyder. And, we call me and i go i go you remember the uh you would piss in like they were bathtub things you know what i mean oh, the troughs yeah yeah and it was just like he's like yeah man it was so crazy because it was such a small it had the beginning maybe 40 people can stand the bar and then right. the bar came all around and then in the back twisted sister white tiger and all them things mm -hmm. like back then those were the big bands back then uh twisted sister criminally underrated Mm -hmm. uh, as as a band and the songs they put out, they were fucking good. D. Snyder's fucking, and I imagine they put on a hell of a show. Yeah. Uh, Shuli, did Tiffany have the autistic super fan with her that made the documentary about? It's called "I Think We're Alone Now." No, she was with her husband at the time and their kid, mm -hmm. and we all went out bowling afterwards. <laughs> I saw Alice Cooper last year. He killed it. Still, good for him. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, I saw Anthrax, Megadeth, Soulfly, and Phil Anselmo at St. Vitus in Brooklyn. So amazing to see those. Uh, That's crazy. Uh, yeah, and Brooklyn was a mega oh. rock place. Yeah. It, uh, hopefully, it still is kind of. I know that. But it's like that was where rock, people rocked in Brooklyn. There was clubs there that all the bands came to. That was where you, you went to if you were a yeah. band. That's what you wanted to play. Uh, Hamhead, Guar, and Green Jelly were the oh, best yeah. live shows. Uh, there, there are a few things I regret in life. One of them was not Guar was up at Sirius, and they invited me to come to the show. And the guy was like, "I'll put, we'll put you in the meat grinder," and and I ended up not being able to make the show, and I was so bummed. But they had a band, uh, Mutoid Man, that opened for him. They're fucking great too, man. They are good, yeah. 
Really I was good. Say there was For white sure. lion before there was white tiger. <laughs> that's right. That's yeah. right. It's like it was, you know, those kind of bands. But if it was Long Island, that's it was good. definitely white. <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Speaking you know, of those yeah. kind of bands, though, I saw. Uh, you ever seen? You ever heard of Ghost? Oh that yeah, I just dope. saw them for the first time live oh, uh, a few months amazing. back. I I took uh, my oldest to see Amana Marth and and uh, Amana Marth was opening for Ghost. Uh, they're oh, both from, right, 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 yeah, from uh, Sweden. And uh, yeah, they come out like the same thing. Costumes, they'll come out like drew like priest costumes on, like druids, and like uh, I don't know what the theme but the was music this year, is you saw. great. The music oh, is great. It's just it's just rock music. It's great live show it's like a super group from sweden they're like yeah swedish metal bands that all like got together all the all those these these great players yeah they're really good live uh, i never knew or like were, were into them i knew of them i just never saw them live or listened oh, yeah. to their songs they were great Here, here's uh, one of the coolest uh, yeah sorry, one of the coolest uh, times i just remembered this is when i was opening for lampanelli and we were up at mohegan sun and after the show we end up going to this little bar that's tucked away somewhere in the uh, the huge sprawling casino. And we're having a couple of drinks. It was her and her husband, uh, Jimmy Big Balls at the time. Sure. Oh, wow. A yeah. A legend. And, yeah. And uh, so, and it's a small little bar and we're at a table and the, the bar is right there. And there's like four guys sitting at the bar with some women. And it, there was a Temptations because they had done a show in one of the other showrooms and at this point there's a lot of temptations it's not like the original sure, right it's not the original yeah right but what? Still... <laughs> and but then they, they just start singing and they're doing they're, i guess they're impressing the, the women they're with or whatever Ooh, wow. but <laughs> <laughs> downtown <laughs> but they're well, doing think it about it i like mean what a, what a what a pussy magnet that is to yeah. just you know break into an acoustic Four part fucking... harmony yeah yeah my girl, yeah my girl, my girl. and it's like and we're you know 10 feet away and it was like yeah we're getting a free show it was, it was pretty it was very cool that's cool yeah. um Billy Corgan did that in Arizona once. A buddy of mine was in Arizona. He just sh they had some show in town, and they showed up at the bar, and he just went up at this dive bar with an acoustic guitar wow. and fucking played covers. Yeah, he used to come to comedy all the time in Florida. At, at uh, what was that? The one that Don Siegel had. Uh, yeah, New York Comedy Club. Him and Al Martin. Mm -hmm. He used right. to come and sit in the back where we did. You know, right? Hey, fucking nice guy. Didn't know. Are we all gonna rock back side to side? Because uh, it's fine. No. We're gonna make Maybe. people seasick. Uh, Kelly, pros and cons of hitchhiking is amazing. They don't know, Kelly. They don't know. They think they know, but they don't. Yeah, it is. Wow, saw the Bee Gees in '93. Greatest singer songwriters ever. Yeah. Angelic harmonies. I dare you to disagree. Also saw Barry Gibb at Jones Beach in 2020. Yeah. I win. Next topic. That's true music, Chris. The documentary on HBO that they did about the Bee Gees was phenomenal. So good. Yeah, they, those dudes were bad. At, you know, one of the trends uh, on YouTube, I mean, I don't know about now, but it was going around for a while, was black people seeing the Bee Gees for the first time because apparently a lot of black people just thought they were black. So when oh, they saw the Bee Gees, three, you know, three <laughs> white guys sitting there and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> mm hmm uh first concert the kinks general mm -hmm. admission in springfield best concert peter gabriel mm -hmm. in new haven most wow. seen band the ramones at the agora in hartford nice. wow what a list Some, somebody that produced their album said that that they were the tightest band he's ever worked with the ramones which I don't know, you know what I mean? I didn't argue with him because he, he had a lot of credit, you know what I mean? But like, it's only three chords really, but I guess tight and it's still matter, <laughs> but it's right? So, but it's also so fast and, and yeah. you know, precise. I want to see, uh, you know, who I haven't seen live, who they're really good. You'd probably dig them, Bob. Uh, yeah. I'm sure your kid likes them. Uh, Volbeat. I'd have no idea. They're another, uh, I think they're from Sweden or maybe Norway or somewhere, but... They're great. That Metallica took them to open for them a couple years ago, and they like stole every show. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd was like, "These guys are unbelievable." They do like kind of like rockabilly and metal. Uh, they're really good, really, really good. Joe Gillis, member for five months. Lollapalooza '96. Listen to this fucking lineup: Screaming Trees, Cheap Trick, Ramones, Rancid, Soundgarden, Metallica. Almost too much. Almost too much. 
that that might have been the greatest year for live music you know yeah. 96 I, yeah my sister went to that she had a great time she oh. was really into music when we were kids i never really liked music that no, much but i got into it more guys than i heard <laughs> Look at him. He loved it. Yeah. No, I mean, my, my sister had a great time. <laughs> so it's 78. He said it twice. He liked it so much, he said it twice. <laughs> he, set him, he set himself up for it the second yeah. time. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> uh, I grew up near vintage vinyls and Fords. D. Snyder was there signing stuff in the 90s. He liked my coffin necklace, so I gave it to him and he put it on. Yeah, he, he's fucking... What you give him? <laughs> <I gave> him. <laughs> wow. You ever see the video of D Snyder? Some fan tried to fuck with him. I think it was in Germany or something. And D beats the shit out of him. It was fucking great. He, he doesn't fuck around, dude. <laughs> Suicidal tendencies and biohazard in Hollywood. Some gangsters, uh, gangsters mm. punked our boots. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, suicidal tendencies. They were at that Orion Metallica show that we did stand up at. And uh, I remember us in the commissary eating, and I look over, and the dude from Suicidal Tennessee with the bandanas sitting there eating the same food right next to me at the cafeteria. I'm just like, this is the weirdest shit ever, man. I don't get it. Why, oh, how am I in the same room as this guy? Erica said, I saw corn in 96. I, yeah. I seen corn in my shit. Wasn't impressed. <laughs> corn in the bank? That's another one. I'm killing this one. <laughs> Save it for the Vince show. You don't want to shoot your load here. <laughs> You're going to need it. Reverend at three. It's the only morning show in the afternoon. There you go. Rise with the Reverend at 3 p.m. this afternoon, <laughs> folks. Uh, vampires will wake up a little later. Uh, speaking while we're plugging something, uh, comedy at the Carlson. You'll be there uh, in July, and people Vinny. can get, yeah, with Vinny Paulino mm -hmm. uh, christening the Rickles room. Uh, go to bsshowlive.com to get your tickets, folks. It's going to and, be uh, Thank you. And PCL is later tonight. So, I, mean, I have a couple PCL clips if you want to watch. I yeah, have absolutely. Stuff. Can uh, I just but, uh, yeah. can you catch up? On the, I'm gonna. I need to have a cigarette. No, you, you don't. Need a Sit tight. I haven't yeah. smoked. I'm smoking, and I haven't gone and smoked. You got this. Sit tight. Yeah. We're almost done. Yeah, ten minutes. <sighs> Butthole surfers oh, yeah. eighty six at UB with uh, Jello. By by Biafra. by Biafra. Sorry, this Cardiff. Uh, I'm getting monetized. Where can I buy fake chats? Email Man, you me are at killing it. Rico Show Pod at gmail .com. You're killing it today with your zings. Woodstock '94 had a bunch of good shows. Yeah, yeah, and rape. Oh, uh, I was at. What was the one I was at? '94. Wait, what was the one with Aerosmith headlined? We did a show there. That's when somebody drew a. 32 ounce bottle of piss at John James's head on stage. <laughs> <laughs> we never had so much fun in our life when Norton was in front of the porta potty eating stew in front of it and going, Hey man, this stuff ain't bad. <laughs> Fucking animal. <laughs> Fucking Jello is the singer from Dead Kennedy. Show. I don't know everything, Chris. Take it easy. Know. We're not experts on this stuff. All right, before we get to Perry, let's do uh, some love real quick. People are looking for love, and we're here to help people out. Um, th this is, you know, we have Ali and Tony met in the chat. Yeah. They're in love, they're married, and now they're about to have their first kid, a TSN baby. And now I want to help uh, another person find love, this lady here. Um, she's going to let you know what she's looking for. Here we go. Hi, I'm Tracy Dixon. I'll buy you a double wide trailer if you be my boyfriend. I'm no. looking for a strong Caucasian man. I'm in. Please, no African Americans, no Latinas. I'm just here. So, this year, please hit me up. I get my check, my food stamps. I live right here in a beautiful trailer park. And I'm just here looking for me a man. So, if you like um, big girls like me, you know, hit me back up. My mom is 25% white. So, yes, I'm 25% white. And I'm a pretty girl, so hit me up. I'm just a big girl. I'm half pretty bird. Okay, <laughs> you're I'm part just... bolt. You're pretty big. <laughs> I figure I get up here and find me one. Gotta be strong, masculine, beautiful, slim skin. Hi. I'm... Okay. Well, she, she definitely knows what she wants, mm -hmm. and she will do nothing to get it. 
Uh, oh, I don't mind the lady who wipes her ass with a rag tied to a stick. <laughs> <laughs> wipe my ass. <laughs> uh, here's a couple of Perry clips. If you missed his show the other day, uh, my falling off. Oh, let me turn the volume up. Oh, you know what? I might be. Uh, there's a rumor going around that I will be playing. Perry's love interest in the cowboy movie Ooh. that will be filmed in May. Oh, I like that. Yeah. My pants are falling off. That's okay. Keep spinning. All right. Now tip me over and pour me out. Tip it over right now and pour it out. Right now. Is that a diaper? <laughs> yes. it, 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 that's definitely a diaper. It's like a <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh no oh no it's nothing worse than falling with diapers on uh, but his pants are around his ankles that's why he can't move what is all that popcorn yeah they sent him a box full of popcorn don't turn it off again my pants are falling off i gotta watch okay. it again Keep spinning. all right now so, so he had sucked it up with the air vac with the uh shot. right and I was no, trying to get it in there. I think he put it in there. I'm not. I missed that part, but I think he he poured it in there, and he had to wear it on his head, and then it, it was, spin uh, around, and then dump it. Now pour it out right now. <laughs> it it's seemed like a great idea. Uh, on paper, it was supposed to work. Yeah. I don't know what happened. And then I got it's another so clip here. Uh, this one's a little longer. Green Machine. This one's Green Machine Meltdown from Perry. Let's check it out. And you can kiss. God damn it. Why is the volume so low? I don't know. And you can kiss my ass. <laughs> $50 for you to pour your green machine out onto the ground from the patio while saying it's trash. <laughs> 50 bucks. No, not allowed. You're an ass. <laughs> no, no, don't add anything else to it. Just say it's trash. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I guess I gotta say it's trash. You're an ass. No, no, stop. Okay. It's Perry. I asked you not to add your own stuff to it. Now, before you close it, now get the other one from the refrigerator. You got 50 bucks for this. You got it. <laughs> Perry? Don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. <laughs> you didn't do this right. No, don't don't start slamming the louvers back. Whatever. Go fuck yourself, you cocksucker! Get my fucking ass! You. Yeah, people next door are like, oh, Perry's working tonight. Mm -hmm. the words. <laughs> you added your own thing when I begged you not to. I begged you not to. All I'm asking you to do is be an honorable man and follow the rules. So now let's try it again and just say it's trash without adding anything else. Not going outside again for this fucking show. How much you want to bet he's back outside? This fucking show is running me. This fucking show is breaking my lovers. This fucking show sucks. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. You fuck. So let's just do your job. Show that you can follow rules. Show that you can follow oh, I rules. Followed rules. You didn't. But I am the big degraded and the ball. I get up, up, fed up, fed up, fucking fed up. Just get the green machine and do this so you can get your 50 bucks. I want you to be paid. <laughs> Poor guy. It's trash. Just convince me he held hostage. Another tough day in the <laughs> office. <laughs> 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 Great. Brilliant. PCL, my man, yeah. our friend. Uh go support him if you've never yeah. watched his show. That was a little yeah. little taste. Um all right, listen, I want to cover this and then we'll get out of here. Hey, this is Lou Custom <laughs> What you hearing, Lou? <laughs> um, I want to cover this. This is uh big news, I guess, in the dabble verse, but uh I'll let I'll let Mr. Steel Toe explain. Hmm. Uh, Steve's guitar says I'd be so uh, shout out to uh, my lost interest for putting this together. Oh, Thank no you, buddy. Uh, Steve's guitar says I'd be so happy if April was on the show tonight. Ah, uh, Steve, I'm so sorry. Uh, April is uh, we can officially say now uh, right. April is done. 
oh. with hmm. uh, the Steel Toe Show. She is she's doing better. Let's put it that way. Uh, she's doing better, but uh, I she doesn't want to go back. He's such a weird dude, this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's a good look, <laughs> Sheriff. Uh, this is this whole rap is so weird. She doesn't want to go back to the abuse. Hmm. She doesn't want to go back oh. to the meanness. She doesn't basically what uh, hopefully I, she's I, talking. He's talking about the radio. Yeah. Yeah, right. If I'm it's getting like, it right, I could be wrong. But I think what? she kept running into my fist. <laughs> <laughs> She's the clumsiest bitch you've ever met. But like, how is he getting it wrong if they're talking? Like how? Like this would be something that would be very important to me at the moment because if this is happening, something else is happening. That's Here's the way my, I look at it. Right. The 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 and you're right. And I think another part of this whole rap is him kind of showing her. I think I don't think she's just off the show. I think she's like away. That's my theory. Mm. You know, she needs a break from it all, right? Mm. And yeah. I feel like uh, this is him kind of saying, you know, I'll publicly take the heat for all of the. Which I think he has a lot of responsibility in this as well. Absolutely, but mm -hmm. I feel like he's turning it up a notch or two to kind of win her back. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I mean, he should be doing whatever he has to do, but do it off air. It you don't work. need to do it on here. Well, that's like you don't like. Yeah, I always say like you know, uh, we open up a lot. We, I always open up about everything, but this, you know what I mean. We don't need everything about our lives. You know what I mean. It is a point where you have to stop and uh, and realize that. Everybody doesn't need to know everything. And this is one of the situations that should not be. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I'm sure the fans will understand that you don't yeah. talk about it. That's and, if what they, and if they don't, tough shit. They weren't your fan. They're a fan of drama. They want to hear the drama. So it's like, pick yeah, one. No, nothing else is important. You must have seen Pat's open message to KB. Pat, uh, Pat Melton or Dixon? Pat, Pat Melton. Oh yeah, well, no, yeah, Patrick. Okay, uh, Dixon. Pat Pat Dixon. He means. Oh, he gave an uh, he gave what an open he, what? All right, what? let let's get something settled right here, KB. I never now, lost. See my... now, now let's get it straight. Now. Yeah, it's uh, like he's basically. What's the matter, proving... guys? KB's a bit unreasonable. Huh. Wow, yeah. get out of here! Oh, what's the matter, Pat? He's mad because you're friends with somebody he doesn't like. Nobody yeah. had a problem with that when he fucked my man Bob Levy at his six grand because he was on the fucking phone with somebody he didn't like. Yeah, now he didn't like he, that at this moment, but like, and nothing happened. You know, listen what I mean? to me, nothing, listen to me. It's like weird. All of you, Ray, Pat, all of you, Stevie, just cut piece by piece and enjoy eating this shit sandwich that you ordered. I give a fuck. Right, I could be wrong, but I think just being out in the public and having people say things about you that uh in the public one time she said something perfect uh she said if Only i once. ever uh go and like go to get other work that shit can follow me around what can the stuff that fans are saying about her, the the hate yeah, that she's getting. Yeah, but it doesn't do it. Like, there's, if there's no proof of anything, how can somebody not hire you? Well, also, it's like he's kind of, you know, he did this thing where he brought her on his show, mm -hmm. and now he's blaming the fans. He's blaming the audience for being the audience. You know what I mean? Um, also, you know, most employers don't really like people doing stuff like this even even our show even like you know shows that you know that are, are popular if you're trying to be like a teacher like some people and then you have all this stuff right like this you know that they can go back on and look at it, it doesn't look good you know yeah i agree oh fuck all that bullshit I don't you know what i mean you can do what you want in life and uh you know if you hire if you, you know but a job get hired for a fucking job you want the best person or you want the worst? 
Yeah, but th but there has to be a point where at some point when this <laughs> shit starts kicking off and he's got to pull her aside and be like, hey, what do you want to do? Like, we, we, how should we, you know, and there's none of that. He's like, just toughen up. Just, just, you know, walk it off. I don't think it was a good idea on my part to ask April to come and work here full time. A, being a woman on the internet is terrible. And, and it'd be one thing if he didn't get tweaked by anybody and he's like, hey, just follow my example. Do what I do. Mm -hmm. But he gets tweaked just like she does. So he's telling her, toughen up, and he can't handle it. And B, I've been kind of going through things in my head. I think it was a remarkably narcissistic move on my part to do it in the first place. And there's a lot, there's a lot of pieces um, of me that I've been thinking about mm. uh, due to all this, the online stuff and, uh, you know, April leaving the show and, and, you know, taking her time off and everything. Uh, and that is that a lot of my behavior has been, that I, I'm not even, you know what? I'm not even going to say that it was narcissistic behavior because that sounds like an excuse. I'm a narcissist and I need to stop. And uh, I, I will say, and I'm very proud of this. Uh, next, really not the way what narcissists and, do. No. Uh, and, and you could tell that she has accused him of being a narcissist. Mm -hmm. And now he's going on the air and admitting that he is. Again, this is, uh, you know, baby, come back. Is, is all this you rapping. can blame it all on me. I was wrong, and I'm just the narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, I, oh, I'm going. Baby, come back. You need to help me comb my spider hair. Ba -da -ba -ba. You don't have to wear that bikini. Right, <laughs> but I have gotten some. They good do a fun show. I'm gonna go figure out. <laughs> How yeah. to not be one or or how to not be that kind of guy. Um welcome to not and... that kind of guy ministries <laughs> coming to Levyverse. <laughs> well we fix you from not being that guy. Holy hey, shit. you know what? You're a real jerk. Hey, you know what? Let me sleep it off. Tomorrow I'll come back a totally new guy. This what is you we're turning into the camel toe show, huh? <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Uh, I got to go away, guys, and do a little self-inventory on me, guys. <laughs> He's going to learn to sit sitar in fucking <laughs> India. You see a picture. Get a he picture of him playing a sitcar. A he sitar come, with the, the sitcar. Guy. A sitcar. He, comes back on, he, com he comes back on next week and goes, guys, I wrote some poetry over the weekend. I'd like to run it by you guys. Tell me what you think. I think it'll help my relationship. It'll help my marriage. Um, I think it'll help my other relationships with other people. Aaron, it, with all due respect, you know what will help your relationship the most? Shh. Take a fucking break from this shit and stop yeah. talking about it on stop the air. And, and, and just go be a normal couple without this bullshit. Exactly. People, I think it'll help me be a better father. Not that I'm, I think I'm a, a stellar father. I really do. But you can always be better. Something a narcissist Stella. would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's like. As a dad, if you're doing it right, you know you can always be, do it better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like that feeling's always inside of you. You always think of, I could have done this, I could have done that. Yeah. But it's all good. Yeah. He must have really fucked up. I mean, he must yes. have really fucked up, like, off off air. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying, Zen. Yeah. That's, I agree with you. I think this is a whole, you know... Yeah. Let me fall on my sword in front of you and in front of all these people. I think to apologize to my wife Nancy moment. <laughs> that was manlier than this. Yeah. Oh, geez. It's like when you <laughs> come on her hair. This is a come on her hair argument that you have. Or like, and you're like, <laughs> but you don't do it on her hair. You're like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know where it was going to go. Uh, I, I'm not that kind of guy. Buddy of mine was getting, he was, uh, he was on a camping trip with like a bunch of other people and him, his and girl his girl started blowing him like off in the distance a little bit and she's blowing him and he says he says i'm coming and she thought he said someone's coming so she turned <laughs> to look and, and like bud dwight not even bud dwight just like a susan he just fucking pop blasted her in the side of the head her hair lee harvey oswad oh my god she was like 
who's coming? He's like, I'm coming. Bam. <laughs> uh, oh, no concert. Yeah, but saw God. Dave Chappelle on 420 a few years ago at the Moda Center here in Portland. Pack sold out arena, grass smoke in the air. Best show I've ever been to. Well, yeah, you've never seen us. Yeah, yeah trust me. Portland. Yeah, but think of that. Uh, Portland, Chappelle, and 420. How could there... Uh, might as well just have been in a, a, a weed field. You'd have to or, be or, fucking yeah. high to live in that fucking city. I'm with you on that. Uh, Joey C wants to come on. He tugs your bag. Why don't you ever let him on? Joey, they make fun of you, you dolt. Can we talk about the work yet? No, no, you don't talk. We, we don't you talk don't about talk the about the work because that's, that's disrespectful work. to the work. That's and especially all. during work hours. You don't mm -hmm. talk about the work. Well, Joey's going to come on tomorrow because Joey is two hundred dollars away from the goal of making it to <gasps> Hackamania, and we're going to have him on tomorrow to do uh, Joey Thon. He's going to do a little Joey C Telethon nice. and try to raise some money. Tell us why guys. you really want to be there, Joey. Go. Well, yeah, we'll get into that. Yeah. I want to hear his real reason for that. Absolutely. I can make April come, says Dingus McFire Fart. Hey, he looks like the guy in the guy that could. Yeah. I also was asked to be tossed in the meat grinder at a Guar show. I was so nervous, uh, and I said, no, that was the last show I saw with Dave Broke. Ah, he died three months later. Huge regret. Yeah. Maybe because sucked. you didn't go in the grinder. Yeah. 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 Broke his heart. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Huh. Granny banger gives in one. He's so quick fuck. with those pictures, man. Is that Granny? No, that's uh okay. Dodo. I saw Granny oh, last Dodo. night. Yeah, I saw Granny last night. On, we got to have Granny on the show. I I, I like Granny. I think he's mm -hmm. hilarious. Um, but I saw him last night with uh, Uncle Jack. And oh they were, yeah, I, I caught a little of that last night. That was those like two were really night. funny together. Uh, yeah. I thought that I thought it was good. They were having a discussion about alligators and snakes, and it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Uncle Jack's uh, uh, Uncle Jack's Jack Shack, I believe on YouTube. Yeah, go support my man, Uncle Jack. Good dude. I sent him a, yeah. a, a super, not a super chat, but I sent him a chat yesterday. So go get him monetized so we can start super chatting these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. uh, 1971, Puffy. Thank you, my man. 49.99 in the house. You're the best. Puffy, Thank you, Puffy. Coldplay was surprisingly yeah. awesome live. No homo. Really? Yeah. Shawnee Zone. I don't believe you. Mm -hmm. uh, I live <laughs> I live so close to Canada, so we get a lot of their radio stations. If you don't know them, check out uh the Tragically Hip and Our Lady Peace. Yeah. Our those... Lady Peace is so good. All right, calm down, miss. Calm down. Forget it. No, 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 no. I'm never listening to them ever. Hey, um, I can be a better husband. I can be a better friend. I can be a better everything. All right. I'm 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 into yeah, guys yeah, now after watching that. this. He's I making get, yeah. her quitting about him. And that's oh, what of you course, because do. he's, he's a narcissist. Nar he's a narcissist. <laughs> he was a narcissist. <laughs> he was a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so that's steel toe, whatever. Maybe we'll watch the pet thing tomorrow. We're gonna yeah. get out of here. Oh, one last thing I really wanted to show you that this is so. This guy's parents been married 63 years, she recently was diagnosed with lung cancer, and he comes home. <laughs> and let's check this out. And and it says he tried to be encouraging, so check this out. Okay, Nana's trying on her new wigs so and be encouraging. Nana's trying on her new wig, so be okay. encouraging, she tells him. She's trying on wings? Yeah. That's good. Oh, look at that. I don't believe I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I said right to her face, I don't believe I like that. It gets better, was it? <laughs> you know, you look like Willie Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> but I always wanted to fuck them, Willie Nelson. <laughs> You say you look like Willie Nelson. Oh my God. <laughs> we got to get it together. <laughs> we got to get it together. Uh, laughter. Laughter is the best. I was really wanting is. to fuck the Land of Lakes girl. Come on, let's go. Uh, oh, and one last thing. This is the new thing they're doing in New York now for parking stuff. Check this out. a big ticket <laughs> i need a giant pen to sign this please <laughs> what the hell is that it just get 
it just sticks to the front of your windshield. Oh, so you can't drive can't anywhere. Drive. But everybody will be doing like Ace Ventura. They'll all have their head out the side, out of the door, <laughs> out of the window. Oh my God! Wow! Did you guys see Space Chiefs tweet this morning? No. What's up? Everything okay? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> what happened? No, I don't know. I don't know either. We'll find out. All what right, happened? Let's find out. I'm gonna <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna go look. What happened? We find out what happened, please. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Block it up! Shut the fuck up! All right, here we go. Space Chief, Space Chief, Uncle Rico Show. Uh, what am I looking for? I don't know. Oh, was it this? This I looks interesting. To, the show, right? This is interesting. This is a tweet from him. Oh, yes. And now oh, this lead yeah. looks like Mike Morse. Look at that. Yeah, there was a mi lawyer, Mike Morse, that looked like uh, me. I looked like Bob. Yeah, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. I seen that early this morning. I was like, what Bob the fuck Levy is looks like Mike, and Mike <laughs> looks like Bob. It, no, this is really weird. Mm -hmm. it, it's That's unbelievable. Freaky Friday. It, it is weird to let you people know like this that I am actually a, no a lawyer. There you go. A full size so, one. So, right. So get ready, Vince. Uh, all right, everybody. Listen, thank you guys, man. It's good to be back. Yeah. It's good to good to be with you guys. Um, we'll be here uh, later tonight with Rico. Uh, thank you to everybody who who gifted. Well, probably this afternoon, Shawnee zones on tonight. Oh, we're right. doing uh, afternoon. What? Well, have him go on a we, little. Yeah, have him go on I a little we earlier. We're doing. Uh, yeah, we, we got to do nights. Set. Yeah, we're set. We're doing nights. We'll figure it out. Um, listen. Thank you to everybody. Put him on a six. We'll figure it out. Well, Wait, it'll get done. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah. I just I get confused. Yeah, that's fine. We all get confused when you get confused. Space it's team, fine. buddy. Uh, shout out to everybody. Thank you for super chatting today. Thank you for gifting, right. donating, membering up on your own. We appreciate you guys uh, so much. And uh, and and we'll be back later tonight. Hit like on your way out. Hit subscribe. And uh, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. <clears throat> it's time to wake up. Time to get out of bed. He was a narcissist. Time to wake up. What a day. Morning, Nick! Gotta get out of bed. Roll! Oh. Magdalene! Oh. I drink piss! Thank you for joining us today. You are free to go. Get up, get up, and then they got you. Time to wake up, time to wake up, just get up. The moon is fucking with me. It's changing get up, me. Get up. Get up. You're thinking about drones. Oh, 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 oh,